We're going to go ahead and get started now that our VIPs are here. <laughs> Referring to Will, who walked in his baseball game. That was the highlight. At least that's what he said. Get on base somehow. Thank you all for coming tonight. Continues to be a very interesting race. Lots of things get said you know, about all the, all the candidates. Uh, and just the other day, Lamar Paris, I don't know if you've ever heard of him, he said about me, Melek's friends would follow him anywhere, but only out of morbid curiosity. <laughs> Let's put our smiles away, for I have not come to tell you jokes today. I am standing here because we've got a big mess on our hands. And our government is the joke. It has kept us dependent on oil, so now as oil prices go up, the price of everything is going up. We should have started 20 years ago curbing our addiction to oil. France, for example, is 85% nuclear. And if France is ahead of you on anything, that's just pitiful. And Iceland has converted completely to ethanol in a very short time. The energy crisis can be solved if our government would just do it. It's like all illegal immigrants. <coughs> if they're here to do jobs that no Americans will do, then why can't we put them to work on immigration reform? I believe that Union County can do our part and even lead the way by making sure all county buildings use energy saving light fixtures and water saving technology. Furthermore, as we work to promote farming, we should encourage research and development of alternative fuels like ethanol. We live in a great country, but sometimes a shining city on a hill needs a shining city on a hill. And we've got plenty of hills around here. In the 1200s, King John of England exercised his absolute power and greatly increased taxes and instituted the first income tax. Then in 1215, a group of nobles angry at the taxation without representation forced John to sign the Magna Carta which created checks and balances for the king. This begun a tax revolution that has been going on ever since. In 1773, colonists threw a tea party over a two cent tax on tea and the fact that the East India Company was shown favoritism and didn't have to pay it. Their colonists revived an old saying, no taxation without representation, and waged a revolution. But today, a two cent tax on everything partially funds our local government, not to mention everything else. What has happened? Our federal government has spent trillions on the war in Iraq, every bit of it borrowed, 40% borrowed overseas. Our massive deficit continues to grow and yet we continue to spend huge amounts on ridiculous programs. We are heading towards financial disaster because of foolish policies. The government's solution has been to print more money, print more money, and print more money, all of it useless with nothing to back it up. There is no fiscal responsibility. We don't need leaders with finance degrees. We need leaders with common sense. People like you who every day manage a household budget. You know that Obama says that us rural folks are bitter and clinging to guns and guns. Well, we're not bitter. We just want our country back. This nation was founded with a Bible in one hand and a shotgun in the other. That faith-based independent spirit is what has driven us to success. But sadly, we have lost it. As a nation, we have become enslaved to other countries. As citizens, we continue to lose more and more of our rights, 
Our Founding Fathers' vision was that government should only do what people cannot do for themselves. Now the government is interfering in every aspect of our lives and doing things that it has no business doing, like owning and operating a golf course. Europe is becoming more and more socialist and regulated. And every time another right is taken away, the government always says it's for our children. And if you don't support it, you don't support our children. Does that sound familiar to you? But in reality, we are failing our children. Locally, we are losing them to despair and drugs while we bury our head in the sand. And we are providing them with a bleak economic outlook. Ask around, and the big, biggest indictment on the current commissioner that anyone has is that he has failed to bring jobs to this county. And so our young people are still forced to leave the county to find work.